manipulate some particular atom and particular molecule is simply based on the fact that you take an extremely sharp needle and you kick with the needle the atom back or forward or you move it up or down. Now this for this development, uh, the IBM researchers, Aurora and Binnick at IBM, so it's the with of that, received the Nobel Prize in 1987. For this development of technology. Okay. Uh, get close to the mic. Okay. Let's go on. Now, I, we talked about nanotechnology. That was my introduction to nanotechnology. Let's go now to microtechnology. Microtechnology that is everywhere, as I will demonstrate in a minute. Let's go to the next slide. It says MIMS and MST. Right. Now, wherever you are in the world, you hear different abbreviations for that. First of all, it's micro machining. That is our dear friend in Japan. What it means if you take classical machine, turning machine, milling machine, and you make very small things. Now, if you look at this space, it has a diameter of one millimeter. One millimeter of it, that's so small, we barely see it at the top glass, but we don't see it in our head. Right? Right. And that's the entire face, it's three dimensional, and it's made by simply further developing classical machines, like turning machines, milling machines. That is called micro-machine. The next abbreviation is an abbreviation that is used mostly in the United States. And it's MEMS or MOEMS. MEMS is micro electro mechanical system, and MOEMS is micro-optical electromechanical. Now what does it mean? It means you make a chip like electronic chip, like for your computer. Now you integrate into that chip also mechanical parts. Mechanical parts could be, for example, this mirror that you see on the right hand side that integrates directly into a chip. Or it could be optical systems. Well, optical systems is certainly also that, that mirror you see on the right hand side. And these are the abbreviations that are used in the United States of this technology. And the reason that we come back to that later when we talk about Europe is that if you ask somebody what are the United States known for technology, or in manufacturing, everybody says chip electronics, right? Now, what here in the United States has been done is to translate the technology they develop for making computer chips into making mechanical devices, mechanical parts. There is a very famous article by a researcher from IDM uh, in 1981, and his name is Peter. And he wrote an article and he said, silicon as a mechanical material. That means to use silicon not only for making but also for making mechanical ears, uh, mirrors, whatever things that move and flow. Okay, Come Volker. Yes. All right. Now let me let me uh, relate this to the students, and you correct me. They all know what a we is. Do you know what a we is? That's the the computer game where they move a device and it can be a golf club or play a guitar or whatever. It is my understanding that the basis of that is an integrated electronic device with a an accelerometer. Absolutely. And Absolutely. that would be MIMS, correct? Right. And now if you look for this kind of thing, where are they? For example, if you if you have a, an iPhone, I think there's an accelerometer a, 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 a react on turning it around from uh, 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 vertical to horizontal, right? Turning the, the, the picture. Uh, if you have a game, everywhere you have acceleration, motion sensors. Motion 
sensors are all over the place. We just don't know it. In your computer, you might have motion sensors because uh, it is for your uh, protection of the hard disk drive. Or even worse, nowadays, the computer manufacturers put these motion sensors in your hard disk drive, drive and when you send your computer back for warranty reasons, because it doesn't work, they tell you that you dropped your computer and it didn't break and it's not covered by both. All right, now, now, now students, uh, what, what we're saying is this. Imagine for a moment having a, uh, a let's say, a reed in your hand, a, uh, a piece of, of, of uh, straw from a broom. And if you stand still and hold that piece of straw up, don't move, then the straw is vertical. If you move, the mass of your body is such that the deflection of it, your body, as you move, will be different from the deflection of that, that piece of straw from a broom. Basically, that is what's done in these devices like a weed. They place in and on a, an electronic chip a mechanical part that moves differently. And if there is a sudden movement or shock or acceleration of your Wii, it converts it into an electrical signal and transmits that into the device in which the mechanical part is actually sitting. So he's saying that the U.S. contribution has been the integration of a mechanical device with the electronic device, where the U.S., uh, people like uh, uh, Bob Noyce, and uh, Folker certainly knows who Bob was, and Bob is, and, and Mr. Kirby and others, invented the integrated circuit many, many years ago. So, uh, Professor Zyla, is that a reasonable explanation from the point of view of Herr Dr. Professor of Physics? Excellent explanation.